Well, he was married at this time, and his wife had committed a sin. She had a Bible. She never let him see it. She had never let him you know that she had one. But when he got to this point where he had looked at everything else, she said, hey, here's a Bible. Why don't we try this? You know, instead of biting her head off, instead of, instead of chewing her out, he said, yeah, I'll try that. And then he said this. This was the book that would understand me. He wrote this later. This is the book that understands me. It changed his life from being this atheist who didn't understand any kind of meaning to understanding what God had in store for him. Another story is about, uh, I don't know how to pronounce Chinese names either. I don't even know if it's Chinese names. Zhao Hu Hong and his wife Kirsten. I got Kirsten. Anyway, these two, he was a Buddhist, she was an atheist. Um, they, you know, were happy in their life, except, you know, where was the meaning? And finally, Kirsten brings home a Bible and says, hey, let's read this. Well, Dao Hu says, no way, get that out of here. What kind of insulting thing are you doing to me? I'm a Buddhist, I don't want to read that. But his wife started to read it. His wife started to understand what God had to say, and it changed her life. She had the information, but now she started letting it work in her life. And then she started sharing that information with her husband. And they both became believers. God gives us information, but then he wants us to have a change in life. He wants us to choose to follow that information. His word is true and certain. Samuel's words did not fall to the ground, and as horrible as it was, 30,000 people died. 34,000 if you count the previous four, because they were not listening to the Lord. We need to know that God is speaking to us that God can speak to us and take care of us in all these things. And we need to know that God's word is sure and certain and that it can help us in our life, whether it's finding the meaning of life or whether it's finding you know, some practical advice from the Proverbs, whether it's finding words about salvation or whether it's words about finding marriage. We need to know that God's word will not fall to the ground. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your word for the truths of Scripture. And Lord, we pray that as small children, we would learn the word of the Lord, hearing the words that Samuel heard, and that we would answer, here I am, I'm your servant, I will do what you say. Lord, we pray that you would help us to, to follow your word, to not let one word fall to the ground. And Lord, we pray that you would open up the doors of the temple and let us all in. Lord, we thank you that so many have chosen to do that, and we pray for those that haven't. Lord, we thank you for your son. We thank you for the life that he brings to us. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to let him change our life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.